Hey everyone, welcome to I Charlie Love It. My name is Susan, and today I'm working on Junk Journal Sketches, episode 51. All right, guys. Um, so this week I'm going. This will be my final Junk Journal Sketches for my September Junk Journal Madness Journal. Uh, so, which means I'm just making something to go in that journal, and next week we're going to move on to other things, and um, this week's sketch comes from www.sketchandscrap.blogspot.com. It's card sketch number 261 by Lisa Hitty, Heidi, H-I-D-Y. And um, so it looks like, um, oh, and I got that off of scrapbook.com. So I'll put that link in the description below. Um, it looks like, you know, there's probably some matting in the back and then another piece of matting. And then you've got this lighter green color. You know, you're, you're going to use whatever papers you want, but there's a paper there. So we're up to three papers. Uh, paper number four, paper number five, six, seven. Well, if you use paper, because these could be pieces of ribbon or fabric, um, you know, whatever you want. But it's a great time to use up some scraps. I know it has flowers on here, but it could be whatever theme you want. I would say maybe, probably something circular, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, and then you've got a little piece there. Um, and since I'm doing sewing, um, you know, we're going to throw a button in there. Maybe a bigger button there. Um, but I am going to use... Uh, my journal is a little mix of, you know, different eras and uh, so this is obviously newer but um, I think this little circle is going to be in place where this um, flower was it says sewing mends the soul and then I'm going to use a button here but maybe this little flower can actually be one of these little flower stickers um, we shall see where we go with that and then um, that little strip in the background and the paper in the background. So here's my plan. I'm trying to make a jumbo journal card. I was going to make a jumbo tag, but I don't want to cut the corners on this. So we'll just make it a big journal card. Um, and so I just cut some piece of cardstock in half, you know, horizontally. And um, I'm not going to do like a double matting back here. I'm just going to have that as one piece and then. I think we're going to go with this piece of scrapbook paper that I pulled out and haven't used yet. I pulled it out for this journal. Um, this is from the, um, it's like worn textiles or something like that from um, Joanne's. And then <clears throat> this piece here, this kind of a gray piece, we're going to use that. Then this dark green strip right here. Um, I think right now my plan is to use a piece of the back of this sewing pattern. So we'll have like this, this, and then this on there somehow. And um, there's a little strip of paper there. And then we've got ribbon or something. I, I do have all these little strippy stickers down here so i might use this um, tape measure one and of course a button and that a little round sticker i showed you and um up here we'll we'll find something is there a sticker on there i mean i have plenty of paper that might last well, a little tag it's not really a it's a cute little banner with those letters but i would want to use just one piece i would want to take one out of that set um well, we'll find something to put there um and I, I do have scrap of that so we could cut a little piece of that and since that's buttons we probably would use something different or flip it over to that side but that little piece is kind of cut off everything so probably use a little piece of that side um at least for now you know things are always subject to change um, I think this little strippy bit that goes across here, that would be fun too to put your little, um, I know this one's going sideways, but you know, you cut it and put it like that. 
So let's use these things up, guys. Okay. Well, that might be, you know, to put the number up here. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. So sit back, relax, enjoy some tunes, and let's get cracking.
Okay, well, <laughs> yes, I didn't really have to choose between both sides. I don't even know how I did that. <clears throat> and it took me just a bit to realize after I pulled this piece off that that was off the top of this. Does that open? So, you know what? We're going to call this a hidden journaling spot. <laughs> um, but because of that, because you might could write on it, I didn't put the, I was going to say band-aids. <laughs> I didn't put the buttons on it. Um, but I like how it turned out. And I used up more pieces of, you know, sewing patterns. Uh, and it fits into, you know, the whole sewing journal theme. Um, so I'm not disappointed in it at all. Um, all right, so happy mistakes, I guess. Um, so once again, that was from scrapbook.com, from their gallery. Um, this was the actual block spot. <clears throat> I don't know if that block spot exists anymore, though. Um, but anyway, so I'll put a link to scrapbook.com to that particular sketch. And um, this will go in my sewing journal. Um, and by now, maybe that video has been released. I'm not sure. I haven't, I haven't filmed it yet. So um, this will be in there, um, obviously. So, all right, guys. I appreciate you and your time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Until then, bye-bye.